This has been a treat, and I believe it is uh, the third time we've had the great Susan Wallman on the show, Hall of Famer, one half of the uh, dynamic duo for the radio booth, and uh, and Batman returned. He pulled up back to uh, back to his Robin. Susan, BT, and Sal, how you doing today? I'm great. How are you guys? Awesome. So, I, listen, you work with somebody that long. I can't imagine there was any transitional period. How much fun did you have jumping back in with John? We really did, and and you know you sign, you kind of forget, and it took about two seconds. No, John was great. He was all. And what did they used to say about Billy? He was tanned and rested every yeah. time George brought her back. Yeah, no, he was. Uh, he had missed it. You could tell, and I thought it was great. There is something about it, Susan. As I was driving home, listening to you and John, it just felt whole and complete. I, I know. You know, maybe it sounds crazy, or maybe you being that you're the person who's providing the entertainment for so many, like, it, but it just felt like everything is normal. Ah, okay, John and Susan together. Do you realize the impact that you and John have had together for 20 years, how, how it makes just people feel complete listening to you guys? I, I've seen it this year. I never really thought about it a lot because when it involves you, you don't really think about it like that. But I remember when, you know, growing up and listening to certain pairs of people that were on for 30 years, it means summer. It means when you were a kid. It means when you first fell in love with Yankees baseball. It's it's all of that. It's all very, very personal. And I think you just said it by now. We're totally John and Susan, wherever we go. And I was telling John when we were in Oakland, um, I've seen the same people in Oakland for all the years I've gone there. And that's a really long time. Wow. And everybody had said, you know, it's always John and Susan. And one family actually said to me, oh, um, we're so glad you're here to say goodbye. Didn't John want to come and say goodbye? And it really struck me when that family told me I'd watched their kids grow up because the same people sat in that stadium. Um, for all those years, and it used to be quite the place. But when they say John, and it's always John and Susan. It's not John Sterling, Susan Waldman. It's always John and Susan, and it's very, very personal to people. And think back when you're a kid. You know, think back when Bill White and Phil Rizzuto were on. That was many, many years of those people being your summer. Ah, oh, man, I as you're saying that, I am thinking back, and, <laughs> I, and I can see, you know, Messer and White and Scooter and, and the radio voices and just flooded back with the amazing memories of being a young Yankee fan growing up. It's awesome. Listen, all the sports experiences that we have and how we consume stuff now is very different digitally, whatever it might be, streaming devices, but there's nothing more intimate pertaining to sports than listening to baseball on the radio still. Right. Well, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. And there's still, I mean, they don't put little crystal radios under their pillows anymore, but whatever they're using, I mean, there's still little kids who go to bed and with the radio there or whatever you, you use now to get that radio broadcast. It's the most personal of, um, of I think it is. Um, it's the most personal of, of medium. And that's, and there's no doubt about that. And then I'm, I'm afraid we're losing that, and it makes me very sad um, because you look at you know you look at some of the voices, and it was that voice that you remember going to sleep, and that was that voice you turned on, even if the team was losing ten to nothing. Um, you always turned it back on just in case. That is true. Just in very, case. Very yeah. comforting. Susan Waldman, BT, and Sal. All right. So this is the opposite of comforting. What's going on with no. uh, with Cortez's elbow? Well, that's a really good question, and we don't know any details yet because, you know, they don't exactly give out information unless you pull it out of them. But I, I don't know when this could have happened because we were all – I was talking to Nestor, and he was doing some interviews about um, – with uh, some of the local guys. Um, it was after the clubhouse closed, so it was like 4, 4.30, I guess, and um, to hear that he must have felt something when he went to throw because, you know, the day before you loosen up, and he must have felt something. And he hasn't had an elbow thing. Last time he had an elbow thing, thing was years ago and it was called an elbow impingement and we don't know the results of the MRI uh, whatever it is it's um, concerning and that's really concerning and you hope that it's nothing but it doesn't sound like it is um, likely uh, Marcus Stroman will start tonight or I know that Cody Petit is is coming up and um, he's been pitching down in in AAA and he is a starter so they could start him if they want to um, but it's more likely that Stroman will start tonight. Susan, what did you mm -hmm. think of Glaber last night? Well, you know what? I mean, everybody's – and I've been watching him for seven years. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, you know, everybody has their shortcomings, and, and that's one of Glaber's. 
and that and it's been um, for for years now. And those are the kinds of of shortcomings. And it's it's too bad because every now and then that will rear its ugly head. And it, it cost them yesterday. I would also like to know where Soto was going with Judge coming up. Um, but it's all intrinsic into what is the base running, which has been cleaned up a lot from last year. Last year, they were just horrid on the bases. It was embarrassing. And it's been cleaned up a little bit. But every now and then, Glaber kind of thinks he's invisible and just keeps going. And that's, but that's, and it's too bad because he actually has been, for the last couple of months, the team's best hitter. I mean, Judge notwithstanding, Judge has had his little lulls too. But Glaber and also had three hits yesterday, and has been has been terrific. And all of a sudden, you just remember, ah, there it is. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I wish he was invisible because sometimes I wish he wasn't <laughs> out there to make these ridiculous mistakes. Now we've yeah. talked about this, right? I get it; it's part of who he is. Doesn't mean that I have to accept it. I won't. That is a basic baseball play. Your, your point about Soto is, is accurate. Rojas said, tap the brakes. He tapped him. He wandered. He looked. Hey, it's one thing to make an out, to sacrifice an out for a run. You don't sacrifice a run for an out. Like, it's so backwards. It's almost... No, it's, I can't it's, trust them. Yeah, it's, 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 it's unfathomable. And actually, when you look at it, what's happened, and it's just... It's just over and over. Someone will make that, and it's usually it's usually Glaber, yeah. and it's it's just part of it. And it's not that you can. And uh, and I hear people saying, you know, the coaches should do something. P- trust me, <laughs> trust me. They have done everything with Glaber. They sit and they talk, and of course he comes up and he comes comes out afterwards and says it's on me. I made a mistake. But if you don't have that instinct. You yep. don't have that instinct, and I don't think it can be taught. I was going to say, I, like, yeah, like sometimes even with young kids, like it's, it's. I, I would rather take a kid who's really motivated and maybe a little overzealous. You can generally wind somebody down rather than wind them up if their personality doesn't fit or if you're not naturally funny, it's hard to try to be funny. Right. Yeah, he, right. it's just not innately in him, which I understand, but, man, how do you have confidence that that doesn't happen in October, Susan? Well, but there you don't have you well you don't. I mean yeah. you can't, but you can't, but there's nothing right now there's nothing you could do about it. I mean it's not like you can and everybody says, Oh, you should sit him down. I, really? Exactly. And who exactly is gonna play there? And it's you know, there's a lot of things that are going on. You can see what's going on in left field. Do you want defense out there or do you want offense out there? Mm-hmm. And it's I mean though there are there are problems there, but you know, but that is that's that's who he is. That's who Glaber is, and that's what we've seen since he's walked in the door. Susan, what is your trust level with this Yankees team going into October this year? They, well, it's not even a trust level because as we've seen, they could they could beat anybody. Also, they could lose to anybody, and I think that's pretty much what's going on. Here's the the thing that I've always thought about this team. Every I know all the flaws, and and everybody and all the guys that call you and you talk about all the flaws they've got. They're all there. You're absolutely right. However, who's better? Yeah. There's that's that other part of the equation. I mean, yeah, Baltimore won last night. You expect Baltimore to go, you know, to do this all the way through. Maybe they will. It's not a trust level because it's everybody has flaws, and eventually that Baltimore bullpen is going to get them. Well, I guess just it, because because of the inconsistency, Susan, this year, I have a hard time. Like the Yankees at their best look like they cannot be beat. We've seen that whether absolutely. it be April or and May. And then they lose, and then they lose two out of three to the Washington yeah. Nationals. And you say, what are you looking at? Yeah, right. And so that, that's why the I trust level I have issues. Yeah. I think it's everybody. I mean, we all have issues with them. I could write them all down. I know exactly what it what it is. But here's the other: if you look at it with, yeah, they could beat anybody. They could lose to anybody. But who's better? Nobody. Who's who in the Amer- Let's start with the American League. Nobody. Who's yeah. who? At- yes, everybody has those problems. Yeah, I you know, mean, the, the Cleveland uh, Guardians went out and lost to people. I know they're winning now, but it's it's no. But there's no team that you go whoa. We yeah, better so, not have to play them. You're right. Now nobody knows what's going to happen. Obviously, in the next month or so, but. I look at my the way I view this team as, as a baseball observer, as a Yankee fan forever. In 2022, when I, I was at the game, you know, against the Astros, one of the games, it just felt like lifeless. And I didn't believe they had a chance to do anything against the Astros. Even in the Guardian series, I had no conviction that they were going to finish the job, even though they did. Now, this year's different. I look at this team, unlike 2022, and I say, can they win? And my answer this year is yes. Like, I'm... Mm-hmm. 
I'm galvanized by the assets and the pluses. There's a couple of negatives, but I'm, I'm with you. Like, if they get there and win it, I will not be surprised this year. Right. I, would, I, I, won't I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Yeah. I got a crazy stat for you. I know you love stats. Susan Waldman, by the way. This is an awesome stat. This is a great one. So There's a stat for everything in life. There is. But listen to this one. Aaron Judge has 27 more RBIs than the second highest total in the American League. Just almost 30 well, more than Ramirez. Think about that. 30. Yeah. Well, it means two things. It means, one, he's very good. And, two... <laughs> Nobody else on the Steve scores, which is, <laughs> kind, of, which is kind of scary. Um, yeah, no, he's having a monster year. He has his little valleys, too, but he's having a monster year, and we're, we're seeing one of those little um, uptrends right now. You know, I don't know this, Susan, and maybe you could educate us because you say there are stats for everything. Are there analytics in Broadway? <laughs> no. <laughs> so <laughs> there's not stats for everything. That's why Broadway is so great. It's well, glorious. There are no analytics. Some. No, I could, well, be, <laughs> I, I could find you some. I suppose anybody, who, I could make one up, but I'm sure you'll find it. Um, anybody who's done Hamilton 37,000 times is probably a star. It's a good stat. I just made it up. Yeah. And find someone to just prove it. Um, well, maybe there is now. I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, my guess is they're not going analytically because <laughs> you know, somebody's voice has to move you, and there's no analytics for that. Well, you'd hope not. Hey, let's not ruin Broadway, too. Oh, Baseball's already being ruined. You have, uh, how are you handling the potential champagne celebration tonight in the Yankee Clubhouse? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, go I'm good at this. I'm, g I'm good at this. I, I say anybody that touches me until the World Series, they will pay for it. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty good. The only thing you have to do is have, I get a little, but I don't get full douse like, like Meredith. Like does. Meredith, yeah. And, and actually, the one in, uh, he, where, where did we just do the last one? I, I'm lost. Uh, Seattle, where were we? Wherever yeah. we were. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember. Yeah. Seattle Wherever sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, Actually, right. Alex Verdugo said, I got you. And he got in front of me because someone was going to. Oh. But now I, I bring a raincoat and I got my little rubber ducky boots and <laughs> yeah. it'll, be, it'll be fine. Laying down at fine. law. All right, listen, well, lay down a lay down a win for us tonight. Okay, I have something. One more thing before yeah, we go. I said last month I I was I'm watching what's going on and I said to Aaron Boot, I said we're going to end up with Houston, aren't we? And it's uh. going to be perfect. Is that going to be? It's going to be perfect. What I think say? we're going to be. What, what, what I'm not say? sure it's going to be perfect. <laughs> No, this is the year they. This is the year they could beat them. Although, although this is the year they could lose again. But this is the year they could actually beat them. Ugh. He wants that, but when he yeah. wants Houston, yeah. Does he really want that? I don't know what he wants. I do. You do, huh? <laughs> don't you? Oh, okay. Come on, you gonna run from it, dude? You're the big man. You're the big man. You have to. You have to. You have to beat them. You have to beat them to get there. And make it sweeter. I'm with you, Susan. Have, I want the absolutely. Yankees. I want the Astros I don't too. I want this little. What's the What's the use if you're going through Cleveland? That's nice. It's a nice team. They could actually lose to Cleveland, but if you're gonna get there, get there, and it could, and they're in the right bracket, so it would it would mm. it actually could work. Please, the AL Central. Like I mean, just disband the AL Central when it comes to the Yankees <laughs> in the postseason. I wouldn't mess around with the Tigers, the school yeah. at this point. They actually do look pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't mess around with the Tigers right now, and that is probably the best. Um, the best story because the front office traded away all of their veterans and they forgot to tell the players and the manager that they're not supposed to win. And I, I my guess is he used that as a rallying cry. And you have a guy like Scooby, you can do anything. I, I, that's a great story, what's going on in Detroit. Did John give you any insight, Susan, into a potential Jazz Chisholm home run call? No, he did not. Okay. But if I started singing all that jazz from Chicago, he would be the one person sitting next to me who knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> I, I saw Chicago. Oh, yes, you did. I How, did, did you I like saw, it? I, I did. I saw it on Broadway, and I saw it in Las Vegas, I believe, at the Mandalay Bay. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got a little culture, unlike my partner there, Susan. Come on. <laughs> I've seen Wicked. Chicago's a great show, isn't it? It, it was book, phenomenal. Booker Moore, I haven't seen Susan, what was the one you recommended I take my wife to see? I forgot. I got to write that down again. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Oh, you said it was good to take your wife and <laughs> oh, see. Oh, what did she say? Not lying. Oh, is that six? 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 Yeah, six. That's exactly right. Thank and you. And I okay. said, and if you don't want it, it's only 90 minutes, so you could sit there for 90 minutes even if you didn't like it. Yeah, okay. Love it. All right, Susan. Well, hopefully okay. you're, you're celebrating tonight. Only the World Series. That's only where you get doused. You're not getting doused here for the division. None of, none of that. Better not. Okay. Better not. <laughs>
I love it. We'll be listening, Susan. Of course, we'll be watching. Great to have you and John back. Have a great call. Good luck to the Yanks. We'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, Susan. I love talking to Susan. Really put the smile on my face. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, just honestly, driving home last night, just feel, you know what I'm saying? I totally know what you're saying. Same with Howie and the Mets. Like, there's just familiarity. Yeah. It's it's comforting. You know, it's the same. Yes. It's like the same newscaster that you kind of yeah. trust, whatever, over the years. I mean, not not so much the cable outlets, but, like, growing up, the same weatherman, like, on CBS Understood, or yeah. locally, on whatever it might be. There's just, hey, he's kind of part of the fabric, and so is she, and so is John, and... I uh, wish they could do this forever. They can't, but right. we wish that they could. Change is inevitable, but it is shocking when it happens at first, and we had that happen this year, but now it's back, Yeah. and I would just enjoy the hell out of it with John and Susan for this final stretch and on into the postseason, however long that lasts. And of- 